trips to Paris. I civilize every savage. Give me one shot, I turn tripe life to lavish. Uh, Josh Ruiz. Ruiz is considered, you know, he can be considered unorthodox, right? He can be considered unorthodox, you know, because he has like a fat man's body, but he has very, very, very fast hands and uh, a respectable ring IQ. And he doesn't gas out for his size. Biggest fight of his career since, obviously, his world title shot against uh, title fight against uh, uh, Joseph Parker, in which a lot of people thought that he won. So here he is as a somewhat as a late replacement fighting Anthony Joshua in Madison Square Garden. And they're saying that it's about a thousand or no, a few hundred or so tickets left. Now, understand, this is what I'm going to do on fight night. On fight night, I'm going to get a survey, right? I'm going to I want to know because I want to see what Joshua's power is like here in the States. I want to see if they're singing, if they're dancing, if they're cheering like the Philly atmosphere, the Philly atmosphere because of um, 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 the Irish for Katie Taylor and the Polish. It was lit. It wasn't, you know, like sold out or anything but the atmosphere. So I want to see what the atmosphere is like for Anthony Joshua, you know, Katie Taylor, you know, on, on um, um, Colum Smith, Chris Algieri, those guys and all the stars that are supposed to be there. On a nice ass Saturday in New York City, June the 1st. It's nice and shitting on the East Coast right now. Rain right now, but for the most part, tomorrow's gonna be pretty nice. Like nice and shit. So I'm gonna be all the way at the top, all the way at the bottom. You know, I'm gonna be circling that motherfucking arena, you know, like getting the scoop for y'all. So if you don't know, the undercard is gonna be this. You're gonna have, well, of course, the main event is gonna be. Um, Joshua versus Ruiz for the WBA Super World W. Wait, does WBA Super World IBF WBO Super Championship and the highly coveted Jade lucrative, seductive, alluring IBO title? Then you're gonna have Colin Smith versus Asan and Dom. Colin Smith hasn't fought in about eight nine months since he beat George Groves. In the World Boxing Super Series, it's been hard to get him some meaningful fights, but this is a somewhat meaningful fight because I want a Hassan and Dom and uh, Golovkin. Colin Smith is the uh, co-main um, um, taking on Hassan and Dom when I think it should have been Katie Taylor versus Delphine pursuing the third um, fight from the uh, main event. And that's for Undisputed, but because Colin Smith is in a running to get Canelo in the running, not saying that he will, I don't think that Canelo will fight him. If he does, I'm going to be like, oh, shit. But they couldn't have him fighting. Like, let's talk about the real shit. They didn't want to have him fighting under a woman. And the fact that they want to like keep him like, hold up, you're not, you're you're on the third below Katie Tick. Come on, they, they couldn't do that. I, could, I see what they were trying to do. But I think it's disrespectful. Then you're going to have what? What's the other card again? God damn, the other card, the other fight. Uh, Chris Algieri, Tommy Coyle. No, wait, it's one before that. Let me just look it up. Help me out. I didn't fucking forgot already. It's going to be, wait. <sighs> Hold on. Let me pull it up. Hold on. There it is. What you know, a feminist? No, hell no. It's for it's for four belts. It's undisputed. It's undisputed. That's what it is. I don't like feminists, man, because they, you know, I like for people to be like, you know, like strong for their, you know, their race and their sex and you know all that shit. But feminists be on some weirdo shit sometimes. Like they be too. Sometimes they be too strong, and they just be ended up looking like dickheads. Okay, so you have eight. So you have Anthony Joshua versus Ingrid Ruiz. Colin Smith versus Zan Endom, Katie Taylor versus Delphine Pursun, and then it's going to be Josh Kelly versus Ray Robinson, Chris Algieri versus Tommy Coyle, Joshua Buati versus uh, Marco Antonio Parabon. That's that's it. I know my sound is different. I had to send my mic back. Yo, chill out. I'm not going to talk about it no more shit.
Y'all gonna stop giving me your shit. A huge night at Madison Square Garden on Saturday. Y'all always giving me shit. Coming to America. Oh, what you a feminist now, look, dog? <laughs> Let's see what they were talking about. Where's AK and Barack? A triple G. But oh man. Just a couple of weeks ago. So I look at it like this. Look at Gareth Davies. <laughs> Bizarre ass. I uh, so I look at it like this, man. It's hard to talk about Wilder versus Joshua. I mean, Wilder versus Joshua versus Ruiz without talking about Wilder versus Joshua. It's hard to talk about Wilder versus Luis Ortiz without talking about Joshua versus Wilder. It makes me sick. I don't. It's hard. Okay, look. Let's just go take a gander, right? Let's go take a gander. At Deontay Wilder Twitter and the responses that he's been getting for announcing this fight. People are people pissed. Like it's not a, and, 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 and the fact that it's, they're trying to give it to us on pay-per-view and they have to to accommodate for like cost. Me, I would have never like show like that clip of him not like, knocking Ortiz out as like the promo for the first promo because it's like you already knocked him out, already seen it. So why would you, you know, they should have shown some clips, mixed it up with clips of Luis Ortiz tagging him up. I mean, obviously, I don't count. I got to buy it. But it's like to me, how am I supposed to sell it to the people? How much of it be like, yo, yeah, y'all really need to buy this because I mean, obviously, you know, Luis Ortiz is still good. Even though he looked slow in his last fight. But, you know, I just don't you I mean the for for loser Ortiz to have turned down all that money and for Deontay Wilder to have turned down, down all that money, they gotta try to get the fans to pay for that. They gotta try to sell it to the fans because for be for to be on free showtime, you know, it's not enough in the budget for it to be on free showtime. I mean, not free or showtime. Or if they put it on free TV, they're gonna they're gonna need heavy major sponsors, heavy major sponsors, you know. And it's not a time by situation with Fox. They're gonna have to put money in, and you know, it's it's a mess. And then you have to think with Showtime and their, I mean, with PBC, they still got to figure out what they're gonna do with Errol Spence versus Sean Porter. You got to imagine the disrespect on their side because that fight's a much more significant fight than Wilder versus Ortiz too. Right. And then what about them trying to make Danny Garcia versus Mikey Garcia? That has to be pay-per-view. So understand, like when fighters fight on free TV, there's a cap to how much money they can make. Pay-per-view, they're being sold the dream of, well, listen, you know, don't tell them what this can do on pay-per-view. CBS is out. CBS, I remember talking to Espinosa about it specifically. The CBS thing is like an opportune type of situation where if they have, you know, basically it's difficult to put fights on CBS. And also remember that free TV, there's a cap to how much money they can put into it. So even though they can say, oh, well, this fight did five million ratings, that five to, to really, really make money, 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 money. They need more than five, six, seven, eight million, nine, ten, fifteen million ratings, 15 million, you know, like. That free TV, people don't understand how it works when it comes to the ratings and where the money comes from. They need sponsors, people to say, we're, you know, it, it, it's not that easy. You know? I don't know. Wilder can finish him off. I don't, it, it, see, it's still a dangerous fight for Wilder. Any fight is a dangerous fight for Wilder, just like Andy Ruiz is a dangerous fight for Joshua. When PBC first started on free TV, they was predicting that these fights were going to do in the in the, the five, six, seven, 
8 to 10 million view range. Like, not. Those days are long gone. People are not in the house watching TV like they used to anymore. You know? And the people that are, that are, are, are like old people and shit like that. Or people, like, people are not just flicking through free TV channels looking to, like, oh, I want to become a boxing fan. You got to go where the sports fans already are. Like, you know, it's just weird. The, I mean, I think the zone, in my opinion, I think that the zone is, is the future, but I think they're like maybe two years too soon. But then again, it's like, you know, they must, they know this. They're a corporation. They know this. You know, so when you hear about the stuff that the zone is losing money and everything, hello, no shit, it's the first fucking year. That hasn't even been a full fucking year yet. And they got Canelo and Golovkin and a whole bunch of other fighters. Like, what the fuck? Where's people logic at? You know? But right now, I think it's going to take a few more years. And I think that here in the United States, the zone, they need another flagship sport. They need another sport. And I've been hearing that maybe they can go after NFL ticket. You know, but they need something else. Boxing is not enough to bring the people in here in the States. They're doing well globally, from my understanding. Remember, well, if you don't, I was going to say, remember, they had the rights to Wilder versus Fury in Germany. They had the rights in, in Germany. So they're doing well globally in other places. You know? Yeah, they do. But, you know, I don't know if they can get... I, I, I read somewhere that they were going, that, you know, they something was going on with the MLB, but I don't know yet. I do know that they're trying to get other sports in. They're trying to get other sports in. Um, I mean, Wilder Ortiz, if we already, you know, here's the thing. What will make you buy Wilder Ortiz? What will make you, what will make you like, yo, they're definitely getting my money. It's supposed to be either September the 7th or likely September the 28th on Showtime pay-per-view. Undercard, it can be good. Undercard can be good, but not too good. You know, hold on one minute. 